Hi, I'm Mark Petchy. We're on the final day of the David Lloyd Leisure pop-up coaching tour. We've already been to Birmingham, Manchester and Glasgow where we've been with primary school kids. Today, the final day is a little bit different. Here we are at Observation Point on the South Bank, the first time we've ever seen tennis played here. It's a couple of days before Wimbledon. There's a lot of excitement around. We've taken uh, a tennis roadshow into the schools. Mark's been our ambassador this year and he's a great ambassador because he loves to see kids getting involved in the sport. The main aim is to get as many different children and adults playing um, on court and uh, getting children sort of enjoying the sport. Uh, you know, fantastic uh, sort of opportunities in the David Lloyd clubs to get uh, lots of children playing and we have about 12,000 kids a week that uh, enjoy tennis with us. David Lloyd Leisure are obviously all about participation in tennis and obviously one of the ways you do that is by getting kids involved and inspired and, and so far already on this pop-up coaching tour with David Lloyd Leisure we've done that with the kids. I think it's really fun and it's really creative. Really creative, yeah that's good, yeah and uh, perfect setting for it. Uh, on the Thames, never thought we'd ever play tennis on the Thames. The kids have really enjoyed it, so it's been a great setup. We uh, have a junior coaching program called All Stars. Uh, we have about 12,500 kids uh, each week learning how to play tennis and having fun with us. We start really with the three year olds in a sort of coaching program, but we have uh, players coming right the way through, staying with us through a you know, sort of coaching pathway, and then all the way through to adults. Uh, well, William, he's had a, had a hit this morning and had a few bashes. Uh, yeah, he's had a great time this morning and didn't actually want to get off the court. So we may have to drag him away to the ice cream store to get him away. So yeah, he's loved it. Kids want to be inspired and if you can put a racket in their hand and they can actually see that they can be good at it, even if they're not the next Andy Murray or the next Laura Robson, you know, the one thing that tennis does is keep you fit and that's obviously a huge advantage of the sport and something that the parents should also encourage. For the kids to get involved in, in sport and activities from a physical perspective so early in their life is vital. You can only help with their health and well-being right through to my age and beyond. So I think it's crucial that they keep up the, the physical exercise. This roadshow we're doing with, with Mark is a snapshot of what we do on a more regular basis. Whether they end up in our All-Stars program or whether they end up playing in a park, at least we've got them into the sport. Policeman's coming. <laughs> We've had some older gentlemen playing, we've had a couple of two-year-olds coming along. We've also had a group of South African kids and going back to where I was talking about it being a life skill, I mean these, these girls that came over from South Africa, they're just at a school but they're having a trip overseas to London where they're taking in the sides, they're playing a couple of tennis matches, they're going to Wimbledon, I mean just from the fact that they play tennis has given them such a great life experience. Well played. Thank you. We have a big role to play in um, encouraging kids to be active rather than sitting on the Xbox at home. Uh, it's great to do it here. Mark's sort of been really engaged on court, getting everyone involved and uh, a lot of children enjoying tennis with us. I think a lot of kids have been surprised in their own ability so well, hopefully the follow through from this will be immense. Cheers. Awesome. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, 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 nice to meet you.